We were at the high, when we was at our high frequency, we didn't have any birds. Get all your real birds were called air dragons. These were your dragons of old that you hear about, your legends about. Breathing fire and all that. Yes, they were on a higher frequency. But as we fell in frequency, things change. We never had nothing but dragons. Air dragons. Land dragons. We didn't have no alligators, crocodiles, lions, hyenas, bears, mongoose. Just land dragons, air dragons, and water dragons. All these Greek mythology stories speak of a time when you had these dragons in the sea. Sea dragons. Right? And the Kraken. Right? And, and in the sea, the deeper you go, what starts to happen? The deeper you go, you start getting different type of Fish, if you want to call them that today, that you don't see when you're at certain other levels of the sea or you at surface. Like, for example, the angular fish. The fish with the thing that hangs over, they say it hangs over. You don't see that creature when you at the surface. But the angular fish, that's the angular fish. You see? Right here, this, this is an angular fish. These are angular fish. You Google the term angular, which should have been uh, angular fish. You see? And they tell you, oh, they use these little lights to catch their prey because they're so dark. They're so deep and they're so dark. All right? That's the angular fish. They are found in the depths of what they say is the seas, right? But the angular fish is the same as the tuna fish. But what happens is when you're at the surface, the tuna fish is a tuna fish. But as the ocean drops in frequency, the deeper you go, that tuna look starts to look different to survive. So it completely morphs and it, be go, it goes from tuna fish to what you see right there. Why? Because it needs to survive and it's darker down there and it's a little, the temperate's different. So guess what happened? Its entire body changes. Angler fish? Hold on. And they won't tell you this. I got to tell you this. All right? That's why this is the University of Cosmic Intelligence. Don't ever come here and expect to hear nothing you heard all before. Okay. So when the tuna fish is living on top, look, that's how he look. Cause that's how he has to look to survive. But he his body is made to blend in with the waters. His belly is made to blend in with the sunlight, right? And these are different tuna fish right there, all right? But as you go deeper into the ocean, his entire being changes to survive the dark, murky depths. To survive the dark, murky depths. To survive the dark, murky depths, right? They like to call these angular fish. But they don't tell you why they look like that. Because then you can start putting too much information together. If they did that. You get what I'm saying? But these are your angular fish. You see them? You see them. These are your angular fish. The lower the, now, the lower the frequency drops, that tuna, he, he, he changes. And that shouldn't be hard for people to believe because think about how uh, 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 um, before it's a butterfly, right? What is it? What is it? It shouldn't be hard for you to believe in what, that's called metamorphosis. 
for a species to metamorph, go through metamorphosis and, be, and look completely different, right? Than what they really are at a, at a different frequency, all right? That's metamorphosis. He's a caterpillar. But as that caterpillar raises his vibration, he then becomes a butterfly. They don't tell you that the caterpillar meta goes through a cahole. How the hell they go from a cat? Let's look at it, y'all. Let's look at it. Let's go back to grade school because I need you to understand why the dragons don't look like dragons anymore. Okay? It's the same science. Same science. Metamorphosis. All right? Caterpillar. Let's, 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 let's look at it now. Let's really think about this now. Now, this is a caterpillar. And we never asked ourselves, how in the hell can look at this? And then it, it turns into this? Are you serious? Are you? We never thought about that. We just accepted it. How can it go from what? Look at, look at the butterfly. It's not shaped anything like when it's in caterpillar form. How? How? We never think about that. Let's go back. Look at this caterpillar. Really look at the caterpillar. How in the hell can it go from this to this? How? 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 Right? Because, you know, somebody is watching a lecture and they don't want to accept my divine insight. So, you know, they he just said some shit. All the birds was dragons. Yes, they were. Just like all the caterp all the butterflies were caterpillars too. And a caterpillar don't look shit like a butterfly. And a tuna fish don't look shit like an angular fish. And that's not like the, the caterpillar is in a larvae state, as they want to tell you it's in a larvae state. No, we know what larvae looks like. That's not larvae. It's time for you to use your own insight. Instead of believing what these motherfucking liars have told you, you should be asking, like, hold on, how the fuck can a caterpillar turn into a butterfly? Because the caterpillar raises its vibration. And as you raise in frequency in nature, things take on a completely different look. So I, I use that analogy just so you can understand that all of your so called dragons, birds, I'm going to name them for you. These used to be dragons, very huge, huge, beautiful dragons. But the planet was in a higher frequency. When they came and they invaded our planet, it rocked everything. Even us, we were 50 feet to 100 plus feet tall, some of us. We the giants of legend. You're looking at them. But because we're on a lower frequency, everything went through metamorphosis. And what's so crucial about the tuna fish and the angular fish and the butterfly to the, to the caterpillar to the butterfly is those beings were literally left in nature as codes to help us remember when we get to this point. Because our ancestors knew we would need something to keep us, to help us, we lead us through this shit. You know, it got to make sense to us. We just ain't going to be able to accept it. Coming out of all this spell work that they did on us for 550 plus years. So all of your birds that you see, I'm finna name them. So the, the biggest, the biggest dragon was the bald eagle. So let's pull the bald eagle up so y'all can see how he look. So we can know who our air dragons are, our ancient natural. Right. Let's pull them up. So that's the bald eagle right there. And of course, they will steal him as they make him they symbol. Exactly. He's one of our most beautiful, biggest dragons that we had. Is this bald eagle? Now, as we continue to rise in frequency, he's going to metamorph. He's going to go through metamorphosis like the the same way the caterpillar does, and he's going to be back at his big, bright, beautiful self again. Okay, but bald eagle. Okay, one of our most strongest, beautiful dragons we had, and because he fell in frequency, he now appears like this, and they renamed him bald eagle, and that's why they took him on as the logo. Okay, this is the golden eagle. He stands almost four feet tall. Beautiful specimens. These were dragons. The golden eagle dragons. Okay, 
It wasn't the biggest dragon. That would have been the bald eagle and then a D and Con the uh, AD and Condor. The AD and Condor was the biggest, but the strongest and most fastest was the bald eagle. So the overall best dragon we had produced was what we now see as the bald eagle. All right, but that's the golden eagle. That used to be an air dragon. And what you're going to also notice, this is why birds have talons. All right, they, they so-called talon feet. Them are the same feet that dragons have. If you go look up a dragon, right? Let's get a can we get a picture of a dragon? Notice on most dragons, they have what? Talons. You see the talons? You see the talons? And all of your birds have those same what? Let's go back. Let's look at them. They have the same what? Talons. It's about the last thing left to really show from when they went through their metamorphosis. The, the talons are exactly like the talons from when they were dragons. All right? Same talons. That's the only thing they got left from when they were in a dragon shape. All right? The talons. So that's the gold eagle. That's the golden eagle. All right? Let's go to the next one. And if you want to know how they was breathed in the fire, they, them breathing fire is a real thing. Because all your so-called birds got spirit and soul. And when they used to breathe the fire, that, that comes from the soul. The blue fire that the dragon breathes, he, he breathes it from his soul. All right? He breathes it from his, his soul. And the way that the dragon snort out that, he snort out that, that's actually a breathing technique that you're supposed to do if you know deep, if you know anything about meditation, the way you control your breath and different breath techniques. You know what I'm saying? But that's another live though. All right? So, yeah, you might not know, but the talons is the only thing they got left from when they was in a full dragon state. All right? But the planet is rising in frequency, as you can see. Blizzard in fucking Hawaii and shit like that. A lot going on. You're gonna you're gonna see everything meta going through a metamorphosis. Back to it used to be everything is going through that metamorphosis to go because we're rising again. All right, let's put up the Andean condor. Now this was the biggest dragon that we had. Okay, there you go. He's huge too. I see them nines too. Appreciate it. He's huge too. So that's the Andean condor. You see him? He's huge. Now this bird right here is a vulture. Okay? He's a vulture. But he used to be a dragon. And he stands almost five feet tall. Is up, reaches up to 10, 10 feet, 10 inches long. Let's look him up. Let's look at him. So don't nobody think I look. What I tell you? Wingspan, 8.9 to 10 feet long. Mass, 17 to 33 pounds. You feel me? The biggest. He, he and, and even right now, he's the biggest fucking bird on the planet damn near. Actually, he is. Don't know other bird get that tall with a wingspan that long. The Andean condor, okay? He was the biggest dragon that we had. He's a vulture, though. He's part of the vulture family. Biggest dragon we had. I want to give y'all a visual on these, on these beans. All right, he's an actual original being of the planet. All right, and right now, them birds get up to four, five feet tall with a 10 foot wingspan. You get what I'm saying? I'm only 5'8, so you got to think about this, man. That's like, you feel me? Like, come on. Five feet tall, I'm only 5'8. So, he damn near right here. I ain't over six feet. That's a tall ass bird. They get that tall and they always in the Himalayas. They be up and high up in the mountain. They fly high, but, uh, but yeah, they get tall as fuck. So his ass will be standing right here next to me. You feel me? Five up to five feet with a 10 foot, 10 inch wingspan. I don't think you understand how big that is. You know what I'm saying? We talking about a bird, all right? But he used to be an air dragon. One of the biggest air dragons that we had the biggest to be exact the biggest you feel me um so let's go to the next one too okay so the next one will be the californian condor let's get to him we're gonna run down them real quick the californian which is another condor all right he's not as big as the andean condor and he's a part of the vulture family as well but he's not as big as the andean condor you see him that's the californian condor all right, he's part of the vulture family, but he used to be a dragon. He's huge too. He's just not as big as his 
the Andean condor. But he get about three, three and a half to four feet tall with like an eight foot wingspan. You get what I'm saying? Very huge. You know what I'm saying? Very huge. That on the, the California condor used to be a dragon. I hope y'all taking notes and writing this down, and y'all can do y'all own research into these birds a little more, and it'll even it'll click even deeper if you do your own research with a, with a third eye open. Now that I'm actually giving you the birds, because they not gonna give you this shit. All right, so the peregrine falcon. Let's pull him up. Here you go. So here go the falcon. Somebody said big bird. Y'all silly as hell. <laughs> okay, so look, this this the this the this the uh the falcon I was talking about. He used to be an air dragon, a dragon, right? He used to be a dragon. Somebody said, don't forget about the cranes. The cranes didn't used to be dragons. The cranes are a part of the man-made birds. Because there's so many man-made birds, it's just a part of the program. That's what cranes and, and flamingos come in at. But they are not the ancient dragons. So right now, I'm only talking about the ancient dragons and what the bird, the, the shapes they metamorphosed, the, when they went through metamorphosis, how they look today. All right? It's only nine species of them. It ain't, it ain't, you know, a lot of them was killed off in the war. So I'm just, I'm just naming them. All right? Okay. This is how you pronounce it. Ferruginous hawk. Ferruginous, whatever. Ferruginous hawk, dragon. All right, let me show y'all how this nigga look, man, that they lying about. So y'all can see him. Pretty big, too. Hey, right, I'm gonna keep it real over rich. I ain't gonna like I know these they words sometimes. I don't be knowing they shit. I just know the truth. They spelled all this shit out lying anyway. So this is the ferruginous hawk. See, ferruginous. The ferruginous hawk. But yeah, he used to be a dragon. All right, he used to be a dragon. Red tail hawk. Let me pull him up. Red tail hawk used to be a dragon. And the red tail hawk is the hawk that most people see. When they see hawks in America, at least, um, the average hawk in America is a red tail hawk. Like definitely down here in Atlanta. Red tail hawk is the is like he's very common to see. The red tail hawk. You know what I'm saying? So this is him right here. He used to be a dragon though. Air dragon. These are air dragons. All the birds were air. All the birds that I'm naming, they were air dragons. Okay. So I see people saying what type of dragon. We only talk about the air dragons right now. We're not even talking about the land dragons or water dragons because this lecture is about the birds. All right. These are your original ancient ones. Used to be a dragon. Right. All right. That's the red tail hawk. That's the, um, the, the, um, the, the actual most common hawk to find in. North America, South America, Central America, all right? All right? Stay with it. Y'all know how pelicans look, so I shouldn't have to pull a pelican up, but all your pelicans used to be dragons, okay? All right, so all your pelicans used to be dragons. And if you watch the way they actually maneuver, all right, all the way to, the way pelicans maneuver, you gotta watch the way they maneuver by around ocean water and how they hunt. It's it's it's, it's really it's really some gangster shit to see though. I'm not gonna lie to you. The way pelicans hunt, these are all air dragons, okay? And the very last species um of of air dragons, so these are your ancient, your real birds. Your real birds, all right? <clears throat> your real birds. It's the turkey vulture. All right, let me pull him up. The turkey vulture, all right. Hold on. This is a turkey vulture. He's very big too. Used to be an air dragon. Okay? All right. So let me pull this list up for y'all. Air dragons. These are all your real birds. I had to write it down. The bald eagle, the golden eagle, the Adean condor, the California condor, the peregrine falcon, the ferruginous hawk, the red tail hawk, pelicans, and turkey and turkey vultures. These are all of your ancient air dragons, okay? So if I didn't name a bird, his ass is either just a flat-out man-made bird that's flying a part of the system, or he's a drone.